fight your fears and survive. Hey guys, and welcome back to the real part four. Not the fake part four that I just recorded that no one will ever see because I turned out that I was actually... Yeah, I recorded my Xbox downloading Halo 5. I didn't actually record this game at all. We just had 30 minutes of me talking bollocks over Halo 5 downloading, which, uh, yeah, that was fun. Anyway, in the last video, uh, we did finally manage to make some progress. We got some, we got a new key, which was good. We don't need those. And we now have access to a few of the upstairs rooms. So, we don't really need that. We don't really need either of those for now. Famous last words. Probably going to fuck me later, but we'll come back for it later anyway. It's cool. So, let's go upstairs and see if we can bump into Baza. Spoiler, we're going to bump into Baza. I know we're going to bump into Bowser because I've just done this bit. Well, a couple of hours ago. Right. Let's have a little look in here. Uh, they're really stingy with equipment and items as well. Like, I know we said that before. Uh, we have... Oh, we are on fine. Okay, I thought we weren't then. I was going to say. Uh, we can go into this room. Now, if you remember in the original game, and I believe on easy as well, there's actually a magazine in here. Good thing there's one still in here. <laughs> Is there hell? Yep. This room literally contains ink ribbons. And that's it. Admittedly, ink ribbons are semi-handy, I guess. So there's one herb. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. That always confused me, that statement there. Like, is there something else going on here? Is there a secret passage under that bedroom? I don't know, but that's one thing that really to this day makes me almost wonder if there's like a secret room. I mean, obviously there isn't because we know by now, but uh, yeah, interesting. Anyway, let's get out of here. We have our precious ink ribbons and they are actually going to be pretty bloody precious this time around. Uh, right, let's grab this. I also want to do a no save run as well because apparently I don't, and um, we're out of space, I don't have uh, the achievement for completing this game on Steam without saving it. So we're going to have to rectify that at some point. Let's go back downstairs anyway, drop our herbage off, jiggle our junk around, have a good route around in the bottom of the box. Or side drink coffee. Ugh, much better. Right. So, let's combine those. We've got six saves. It's actually quite a lot of saves. Um, six videos worth, I guess. We're actually building up some decent health items as well. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't say we have an abundance of health items, but it's starting to be a little bit more comfortable in before the hunters arrive are you dropping your beads everywhere no i, I scared myself because i dropped them no, no. oh oh don't drop your beads or your diamonds yeah gabby's uh over the other side with a diamond painting thing it's actually pretty damn cool very fiddly though very fiddly Right, let's use the lockpick. It's so therapeutic. It is. It's cool. I wish I had the patience to do stuff like that. Hey, Baza. Ah. No, no. Jill. Bad. Bad. Harry, Bad I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Hey. These are escaping. They look <laughs> Escape. Yeah, they got some really cool, like, Assassin's Creed ones. They got Halo ones. They had loads. Researchers will. The letter is slipped in... A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is illegible. Alma, I've tried to survive, only to see you again. But my efforts only delayed the inevitable. 
I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I would have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry, Martin Crackhorn. Interesting. Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. I haven't got to that bit yet. I haven't got there yet. It's just tasty. Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Well, we might not have that part just yet, but if we take this here fish hook and we take this here bug and we take this here golden bug like so. Yes. No, 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 no. You don't push that just yet. Right. Now, this room as well caught me off guard a little bit because we do have a fish tank here. The water tank smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps someone was using it to range some kind of creature. Yeah, let's not think about that in Resident Evil terms. Alright. So, in the original, of course, you could move the fish tank. And you would get some decent ammo uh, from behind that there bookcase. But uh, it was grenade ammo, actually. But of course, in this one, no such thing. Um, there's a white lab coat hung here as well. Also, in the original, the white lab coat also contained some um, herbs. Not herbs. Uh, ink ribbons. But of course, there is no such thing this time. Right, there we go. Now, this little bee comes to life. Calm down, Jill. Jesus. Overreact much? Right, there we go. Take one of... Get off me, you little bastard. That thing doesn't actually hurt you much, but it's just more of an annoyance than anything else. Okay, let's go. So, we've pretty much strip-mined this area. What we like on the old map. Yep, that area is now clear. There's probably... Probably... Something. Oh, wait. Hang on. Right. Okay. Just trying to work out my next moves. Uh, We could go into the main hall and go through the green door. Is the door actually still green in this game? I can't remember. And we can go complete this puzzle. I think in the original, this puzzle would give us a crest. But, of course, in this game, I think it gives us a mask. I was going to say the door doesn't look very green, actually, but it does when you go through it. Now. Oh, I have to remember the... Yeah, I think... Right, if we read this, it does say, Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Will you press it? No. Let's push these guys back first. Uh, pretty sure that's wrong. Yeah, it was. I've got to try and remember the order of this now. Oh, guys, come on. Stop playing silly buggers. There we go. Although I'm pretty sure this is still wrong. Yeah, still wrong. Uh, all right, let's push you back. Nope. He's going to come back out, and I'm guessing if I push this chat back in. They both come out. Brilliant. All right, let's try that again. Yep, now they're all out. Lush. Uh, is there actually a hint to this? Oh, I think it tells you, like, who's connected. Maybe. So, do you, like, you, it's very hard to tell what they actually are. So, guy with an axe. Push guy with the axe back. 
He doesn't actually do anything. What about the guy with the sword? Nope. Is that actually a sword? What is that at the top? You've got the shield guy. Axe guy. Looks like he's holding a candle. And I don't know what that really looks like. Um, hmm. I used to be able to do this, like, easily. Nope. I guess we'll try this one. Nope. Let's push you back, see what happens. <laughs> really? Really? Nothing happens. What about you? Alright, so if we push him back, these two come out. So what happens if I push you back? That makes him come out. Right. What happens if I push you back? That's good. It's just you. Yeah, that makes him come out. Which is a bit... There we go. Got there in the end. Oh, now we can push the button and get the book. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can disturb your sleep now because we're not going to get gassed. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. That's a box. A mysterious box. We will take the to the mysterious jewelry box and we are going to examine said box it should somewhere have a button on it there's a switch yes I'm sure there's a switch on here somewhere oh right it appears as if you failed <laughs> story of my life Right, okay, let's try that again. Switch, yes. And let's have that. There we go. So you have to light up the heart. Cool. So there's the mask of death. Right, good. Progress at last, Jill. That's why we pay you the big bucks. At least I assume Jill's getting paid for this. Be a bit awkward if she wasn't. Now... We're on caution. Oh, the bee must have done damage to us. Seriously? I didn't think that bee could actually even hurt us, to be honest. Oh, uh, right, well, let's go through here. I can't believe that thing hurt us. I'm oh hey friend what happened you're wounded this whole place is a killing zone I there are monsters what did this to you a big snake oof it had to be poisonous poisonous Ooh. Richard hold on bring me serum I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah, you just have yourself a little sleepy there. Let's go get him some serum, shall we? Right, okay. Uh, Yeah, I know where the serum is, game. Jesus. I'm not that old and inept. Not yet. Can at least remember that much. Okay. Now, we do have options this time. Yeah, we can go straight through here. Good thing I opened this. This will cut us through most of that corridor. Unfortunately, the Crimson Head is still alive and kicking, which is really annoying. Because. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can... Oh, we got zombies out here? You what? You fucking what, mate? Uh, well, that's a pain in the dick. 
Right. Well then. Dude, I'm kind of on a timer here. So, if you don't mind. God, you're a moron. Fuck you, buddy. Right, we don't have time for your bullshit today. Alright. Uh, we could potentially heal ourselves there, but we won't for now. We do have to contend with that bloody crimson head, though. But, oh, God. That's awkward. Might actually have to put that guy down and burn him, then. Yep, he's come through. Which is a little bit... Well, let's just say that changes our options a little. Uh, right, let's grab the stuff. Uh, what's actually in here? Closet key. Alright, well, let's take that F8 spray. Let's just put all of our healing in one box. Potentially a bad idea. But, hey, we're kind of like godlike at bad ideas. Now, this guy... Yeah... Can we... Yes, get fucked. Get fucked, mate. I thought that was going to be bad for a minute. Okay, so now we're free. Free as a bird out here. We can go get Mr. Richard's serum. I can't believe there's a zombie out here. Cheeky bastards. I mean, honestly, man. Talk about the audacity of that. It's throwing bloody zombies at us like that. Ugh. Anyway, we've definitely made it within plenty of time. So, Mr. Richard will be back on his feet in no time. Unlike the original game where he dies anyway. Why do I have a black screen? That's not quite what we wanted. Thank you. Not sure why we got a black screen there. Or at least kicked a desktop. Right. Now, where are you, Richard? Richard I'm going to give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. It. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Does it ever not hurt? What life or or what? Life always hurts, dude. Every day is pain. Oh, sorry, you meant your injuries. Uh, I I don't know. Um. Are you really listening to Darude Sandstorm? Yeah, it's catchy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of Sandstorm. Funny enough, actually, I thought that was really weird when Sandstorm became a meme because yeah. I, I remember when it was a meme and it was everywhere. What? What's this? Sandstorm. What are you doing, Sandstorm? Oh, I forgot about it until like, it became a meme and I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Funny enough, Darude... The Rude Sandstorm, that was the first ever CD I bought with my own money. That was the first. Oh, my God. I only had the single. I listened to it. Listen to it. Over. Oh, Did you not? Oh, my God. The Rude Sandstorm. Right. Let's stick you in there. Let's stick you down there. Hey. Did you not? I had a cassette player as well for a long ass time. Right, we don't know. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, uh, I'll have you and I'll have you. Might as well. I uh, don't know if we want the canteen. Well, we can't fight Yawn yet. But we can have a poke around in that room. Just above us, I guess. Hey, we've got, like, a lot of healing items starting to build up. That's not bad. 
I mean, I'd rather a few more, and it's going to be a pain in the, the absolute jellies to take that all the way with us when we migrate to the lab. But who knows, maybe we would have used most of it up by then. So we won't have to worry about it, lol. I mean, those hunters, well, to be honest, I don't know if hunters really leave wound people wounded. Oh, you... Hunters don't really leave you wounded. Oh, look at those okay. wounds. The others. You're okay? Your arm's like severed, man. Oof. Right, there should be a Z in here, I believe, in this room. Yep. Uh. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Use your weapon. Yeah, we're going to lose that now, aren't we? I mean, we didn't get a, bit, a bite. So. Oh, nice. You dead. Yes. All right, let's burn this motherfucker. Not necessary to use this now. Are you simple, Jill. Right, let's go set fire to his nutsack and get out of it. Um, oof, back down to 25 rounds. Not great, to be honest. Definitely wouldn't mind a few more bullets. Let's ask and you shall receive, children. Lovely. I mean, that's still not brilliant, but it's, it's you know... It's a step in the right direction. An unlit candlestick. Well, don't just stare at it, Jill. Use the candlestick. Shelves are lined with wine glasses. I'm sure there was something in those shelves. Uh, in the old game. And I'm fairly certain. There's a lovely gentleman in here. Yep. He wants to have a nice, fine bite out of our unmentionables. Right, if you could come over here, dude. Like, I mean, who is he in relation to the mansion, anyway? Doesn't look like a scientist or security guard or anything like that. We'll definitely take the musical score. And we'll get the hell out of here. So, if you're not going to offer me a glass of anything, I'm going to be on my way. Well, I guess he did offer us a magazine, which we joyfully took. Uh, right, okay. Now, um, we can't actually go in there yet. Yeah, we need a shield. We can't come in there until we've been to the guardhouse. That's right. So where can we go now that we haven't been able to go before? We need... You all right there, Richard? You good, buddy? You having a bit of a, a chill-out session? Good man. We're going to eat that. Oh, I don't know if I want to eat that. I don't want to keep that. Yeah, we'll hold on to that for now, because we can go use that uh, pot of herbage. Right. Um. Hmm. Next port of call. Well, we're gonna have to go to the item box. We poss. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Th Thin the herd out again over there. Hmm. Hmm. We can't go through the room on the far end on the east there. Can't do that yet. Hmm. Can't go into the yawn room. Ah, oh, we could go. Yeah, we could go have a look at Forest. See what he's up to. Go grab the bazooka. Yeah, that could make sense right now. Yeah, go grab that. Get stocked up with some weapons. Because we've got the acid rounds. We're going to need uh, acid rounds when we fight Yawn anyway. And possibly going to need something with a bit more um, strength to it. When we fight the Crimson Head Zombie. In the mask room. Oh, we've got to go through all those zombies as well. Oh, Jesus. 
Right, stop thinking about that fun time that we've still got to come. Stick all this shit down. We are pretty much ready now. Are we? Are we ready now? We don't really need the keys either. If we're going to go see Forest, we'll take an emergency herb just in case. Just in case. Go see Forest. Grab the grenade launcher. We're not going to kill him or put him down because it's just a waste of time. We don't have the ammo for that anyway, even if, even if I wanted to go fuck up Forest, I can't. Uh, yeah. We are making progress, though. It's felt like a long time coming. And you've constantly got to be thinking like five steps ahead of what you're actually doing in this mode. The difficulty definitely comes not necessarily from the enemies, just the fact that you've got to be very aware that your items aren't following you. And I think I'm going to have to do some off-camera stuff as well. Uh, when we go to new areas, ferrying items around. Okay. Now, if the gods are smiling on us, Forrest won't actually wake up until we take his... Really, Jill? Get a good look, did you? Right, we're not going to take his rocket launcher just yet. Oh, I guess he's just going to get up anyway. Yep, brilliant, brilliant. You are right there, buddy? I was hoping there was going to be herbs down there, and I'm pretty sure on other difficulties there probably is. Just not for us. Forest... Go get fucked, mate. Ooh. Oh, I thought there was another zombie out here. Well, that's the last we've seen of him. Yeah, I didn't think he triggered, actually, until we picked up the grenade launcher. But we now have it. Very nice weapon indeed. This thing. They've actually made it look like a grenade launcher as well, where I, uh, I think in the original they just called it the rocket gun. Um, whereas in this game, it's, it's just a grenade launcher. I say just. Eh. Uh, there we go. Nice rifled barrel, the whole, whole shabam. Right. Grenades are already loaded. Yeah. Yes, they are, Jill. Yes, they are. This thing is going to save us because we need to strap this to that crimson zombie's ass next time we go and visit it. Admittedly, we're not going to go see the uh, that crimson head for a little while. Do you know what we're getting a distinct lack of, which is truly disturbing? We're not getting many shotgun shells. We're really not getting many shotgun shells. Like, we have strip mined this floor. And we've got nothing. I guess this is this is feeling a little bit more like the Resident Evil that uh you know when people look back on Resident Evil and they say, Oh, you're always fighting to survive, you've got no health, you've got no weapons. I mean that's always been bullshit from day one. It's totally not true at all but this is close to that anyway guys i'm gonna save this one here we are gonna save our progress and it is progress and when we come back i guess we are going to go to the west wing and we're gonna check out Yeah, we're going to have to take a few things with us, aren't we? Go to the West Wing. 
because we've got that whole side and we could possibly take the gem with us as well we've got the chemical over there already uh there is a lot of zombies over there though and there should in theory be a lot of herbs as well but i guess we're gonna have to wait and see on that front anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time